It's not some fake thing, you know, it really does work if you put in the energy, but it's really hard to do that if you don't like it. You know, you can go online and be like, what are the most ways to make the most money in side hustling or whatever? And they'll list all these things and you hate like all of them. You're never gonna make money doing that. Mm -hmm. So I always say, just find the things you're super interested in and go from there. Hi everyone, and welcome to Virtual Coffee Break with Bubble Up. I'm your host, Lauren, and today we are speaking with Josh Pavano. And Josh is a New England-based photographer, videographer, business owner, all around jack of all trades. So welcome, Josh, and thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I see you've come equipped with some caffeine for our chat. What you drinking? Yeah, I got the, I got the, la the large Dunkin' today. Large, large dice. Mm -hmm. Love me some Dunkin' Donuts. Um, English, English breakfast tea over here, second one of the day so far. Nice. <laughs> I'm like a one coffee and done person, one and done. Otherwise, I go through the roof. Yeah. No, this needs to keep me going. So, <laughs> for everyone watching, uh, we're going to talk to Josh today about all of his amazing side gigs, his side hustles, and the lifestyle that those jobs have led him to lead. So hopefully get some practical tips from you about how to pick up a side hustle of your own and keep multiple jobs kind of organized and also how to, how to deliver the content you create to the clients that you work with. So hopefully this right. is helpful for aspiring freelancers, freelancers that are just generally unorganized and maybe even some content creators. Josh, if you wouldn't mind just telling us a bit about, you know, what it is that you do and the kind of freedom that it's allowed you to have in your life. Yeah. So you like kind of nailed it. I mean, I, I've, I've done all the side hustles. I, if anyone has listed a side hustle or can think of one, I've probably tried it or actively participate in it. <laughs> um, and I started doing that because I was traveling so much, like over the last, before 30, I had gone to 36 countries or something like that wow. and I wanted to be able to work and not worry about being in an office um, so it was kind of like built out of necessity so I've done affiliate marketing I've done export and import companies I've sold on eBay bought on eBay I've had content clients strategy clients music clients stock video real estate I mean everything that you can think of I've, I've tried it for sure um, but I think it's just given me such an amazing ability to do as I want and go where I want. My girlfriend and I just bought a van. So we're doing the van life thing soon. Love that. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I love the ability to side gig for sure. And, and I've had a lot of experience doing all sorts of different types. Yeah. You can't, you can't hop in a van and, you know, just go travel the world when you have an office job. You just can't. Right now, lots of people, they, they're looking for location independent jobs and something that gives yeah. them more flexibility and freedom in their lives. What kind of tips would you have for people? Like how, how can they side hustle? How can they find something that, that works? Yeah. I mean, I think that if you if you do have a nine to five right now, like it's just important to start. And so many people are afraid to start and because they think like, oh, I need to be all in on this or or I need to be able to make so much money on this. And like sometimes just breaking even when you're starting off is good enough because you're learning so much. Um, and I think it's about starting with something you're passionate about, just finding something you really like to do that's maybe a hobby. And, and then just a simple Google search will help you find ways to make money with that hobby. You know what I mean? If it's, um, if you really like tech, there's like a million ways to promote tech online. Or if you, you know, really like makeup, you can possibly sell makeup on TikTok or Instagram. And, or, yeah. you know, there's a million ways and a lot of people sharing how to do that online. And I just think it's about finding something you're passionate about because at the end of the day, as long as you're happy doing it, um, it's just like a really good start. Yeah. And, and yeah, I, I think that the biggest thing is people are afraid to fail. They're afraid to spend a little bit of money on ads for them, like promoting themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, and it will come back to you. Like, I promise, like, it's not some fake thing. You know, it really does work if you put in the energy, but it's really hard to do that if you don't like it. 
you know, you can go online and be like, what are the most ways to make the most money in side hustling or whatever? And they'll list all these things and you hate like all of them. You're never going to make money doing that. Mm -hmm. So I always say, just find the things you're super interested in and go from there. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's a bit of trial and error. So yeah, if it works, if it, works, if it doesn't, another Google search and on to the next. And that sounds so simple, but it is that simple. Like literally just Google search and you like the, there'll be people who are writing blogs <laughs> that are about side hustling and they're actually just selling ads on a blog about, so like that side hustle is actually happening as you're it's, it's, you know, it's meta, but yeah, yeah. it's that easy. So you're, you know, you're doing everything under the sun. I'm sure you have a lot to, to keep organized. Are there any specific tools or processes that you have to keep on top of all of these things you do? Yeah, I would say that I'm, this is probably my weakness. Like I'm not the most organized person, but I do try to prioritize things. I think that helps me like organize in my brain. So I use a whiteboard, which is super old school, but it just helps me when I go in my office to kind of see what it is that I need to be focusing on. Because when you have a lot of side hustles, you can get really distracted. Um, and then you end up making no money and doing a billion things. And you're like, what did I do all day? So it's really important, I think, to like categorize your month, your week. And I do that physically in my office, but then I also keep that same organization structure in my bubble up folders because it's really the same sort of visual thing. And then I can carry it with me with my phone. Um, so that, that way, if I'm out and about or like I'm on a trip or I'm wherever, I still have the access to that. So bubble ups like my virtual whiteboard and I use that because of the visual aspect of it. And it's not like a file name or something like that you'd get in a Google drive. Yeah. Yeah. I love that concept of a virtual whiteboard and the fact that you can have it on your computer, you can have it on your phone. It doesn't yeah. matter, you know, where you are, you have a, have a thought or something you need to save. Yeah. Sometimes I even just take a picture of the actual physical whiteboard and just put it as a JPEG in my bubble up folder. So that way I can just pop it up and look at it. Yeah. So it's just a way to stay like mobile, but stick to the things that work for me. I know. So I do a bit of photography and stuff as well. And one of my biggest struggles is how to give my final deliverables to people, you know, yeah. large, large files and photos. Do you, do you struggle with that problem as well? And, and what have you used? I think this is, this is like a huge two for one. And by that, I mean like a lot of my clients have no idea how to transfer stuff between each other and they're, they are so disorganized. And I think like I end up actually sharing bubble up with them. I use bubble up. Now I used to use Dropbox, Google drive, we transfer and all of them have flaws that just drove me nuts. Whether it was like requesting access or like Dropbox, there's a million things in your Dropbox folder that you have no idea what any of it is. And you're all of a sudden paying for storage and you can't get it out. And like, it's connected to your desktop. I don't know. It's crazy. So it just ends up being such a pain. So I end up actually spending an hour with every client that I work with just to explain to them how bubble up works and how their team can use it. And then it benefits me because then I use it with them and I build them an hour consulting time mm -hmm. um, and they get value and I get value. And so it just makes it easier. And I think those large files, um, it just makes it so much easier on bubble up. It is visual. They can see when it gets added. And then it can move across platforms. So from the Mac to the PC, your phones, Android. So it, it kind of spans all the things where if people are like, well, I have a Mac and my coworker has a PC or I have an Android. And I'm like, well, it all works across. And mm -hmm. some places, some apps don't work as well like that. So I, yeah. I, that's why I tend to share using Bubble Up. Yeah. And actually something I literally just thought of is if people are trying to research their side hustle, yeah, that's something, that's something that you could do. <laughs> yeah, you could do it in Bubble Up as well. Yeah, yeah, if you just start pulling in links, it would actually pop up for you. Yeah, um, for sure. I think it's funny when I see stuff bubbling up that relates. You know, I'm like, oh, yeah, that could work. I could do that. You know, mm -hmm. it does kind of give you reminders of stuff too. Yeah, for sure. Suggestions are great. Okay, awesome. Well, that was super helpful. Um, you know, if there's anybody out there that has questions for you or wants to follow along, I'm sure this van life thing's going to kick off. Yeah. Um, where can they find you? Yeah, you can find me at Josh Pavano on all platforms. I'm most responsive on Instagram. I respond to all comments and, and DM. So if you have any questions or curious about a new side hustle, I'm happy to help. Awesome. Well, you heard it, everyone. Reach out to Josh if you have any questions. 
And um, yeah, that was great. Thank you for, for taking a little coffee break with me today. Sure. Anytime. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>